Hey, just got in my uh, HK house um, A5 style upper. You can see that the pick rail comes all the way to the back. It's got the uh, roll pin with the uh, <coughs> um, this piece um, for the piston rod. Uh, so this doesn't screw in, this just pops in. Then you put a roll pin in. There we go. Sorry about the lighting to keep it in place. Obviously finer threading and then you have something of a sloped surface here in the back. Um, and then a different interface uh, with the barrel. Um, and I believe this is actually pretty easy um, to uh, file out on a uh, a one through four style barrel, such as the ones that uh, Brownells is selling right now. Obviously, you have the uh, shelf here on the opposite side um, to uh, protect the bolt catch and release. Uh, you've got cutouts on both sides for the charging handle, which is nice. And then here in the back, it's a little hard to see, but the little leaf spring piece. Um, just to uh, keep the lower locked in, or sorry, upper locked into the lower, uh, much better. <clears throat> anyway, so this upper is basically, um, well, it's a milled variant um, that HK House produces um, that is equivalent to an A5 or A7, um, and at least to the initial versions of the A8. I'll have a video coming up that actually talks about like all the minor little details and differences between some of the uh, ambidextrous um, HK416 types, so A5, A7, and A8. And uh, in the latest A8s, they actually take the um, uh, brass deflector here, shave it off, and put a replaceable piece in um, that's slightly different, but eh, Standard brass deflector is good. Uh, point of making this video is that this piece right here is the Brownells produced HK416 bolt carrier. And you can see the Brownells bolt, firing pin, uh, POF, roll pin, which these things are really nice. I use them in all my uh, standard Air 15 type uppers. Um, this is a uh, just standard titanium. Uh, firing pin um, made by uh, Iron City Rifle Works, something like that. I forget what their name is exactly. I stopped using this though um, because the very tip of it um, actually started chipping, and so now it's just my uh, takedown tool. But here um, it's so that you can have a little bit of comparison between the Brownells. HK416 firing pin and a standardly uh, profiled firing pin. So there's a slight difference. You can see the cut down part right towards the front. And then there's also a little bit of a sweep um, right there in the back. But other than that, it's uh, basically identical and I don't really see a reason for why a regular firing pin wouldn't work other than the fact that it doesn't have that cut at the front. Um, basically there's a smaller hole in the bolt face uh, so a, regu a regular firing pin will not work, won't actually come out. Anyway, kind of cool. Um, so, get back to the point of the video. Point of the video is there are these skis up towards the front on the Brownells bolt carrier. Hopefully, with the lighting you can see there. Uh, these aren't uncommon on bolt carriers. I mean, I, I've seen some that are completely smooth all the way around. Uh, but like the, the HK416 bolt carriers have these as well. It seems, though, that these have a slightly thicker profile than the 416 ones do because they go on the first section like 
no problem. It has a nice tight fit. Once it gets to about here, so in this area, which this thing's kind of thin and I'm not sure if that has something to do with it, but once you get to there, it's really, really hard to push in. And clearly the inside of this doesn't have a uniform diameter all the way through. Um, I mean, from the outside, it, it looks fine, but when you try to put this in, like I said, the first part of it, from here to here, that has this extra ski rib, um, will go in the first section just fine, uh, but after that it has issues. This might just be my upper, might be all of them, who knows. Now, if you put this in backwards, just testing for fit, the back section here is actually kind of loose, um, and it will go all the way in, no problem. And you know, got, got no issues at all. Now, House said that they made these so they would be designed to fit HK manufactured bolt carrier groups um, and wouldn't necessarily fit any others, <laughs> which is kind of funny because the only other one that I know of is the Brownells one. And given the fact that the Brownells bolt carrier group combined had an MSRP of 300 and I think they're selling it for 270 now, which is less than half of what a complete HK bolt carrier group sells for. I'm just honestly really surprised that they didn't bother to get one of these um, before they actually cut the inside diameter for this. Or if the real reason is that the inside diameter of this just isn't consistent. Um, now clearly it's not consistent, but I'm thinking maybe it's consistent enough for an HK produced one of these, but not the Brownells one. Unfortunately, I don't have an extra four or five hundred dollars to get the bolt carrier um, for uh, made by HK in order to actually test that. And uh, as far as this goes, it fits. Let's see if I can get it in there. Ah, my bad, wrong end. <laughs> it fits a little bit loosely, like you can you can see just how much it's going back and forth. In fact that's not just a little bit loosely, that's like really loose. That's much worse than say like a superlative arms piston system. But um, to be honest, it's actually kind of necessary uh, for when you're pulling the uh, uh, piston and piston rod apart. Um, it needs to actually be able to deflect up a bit in order to uh, clear the gas block. So, not the worst thing in the world. Um, and of course, you got the little uh, knots in the top for uh, interfacing with regular rails. Anyway, um, those are... Uh, Few, uh, details I guess and uh, possible issues with uh, putting one of these things together. Um, only other thing to note is they bead blast the surface um, so it's not really smooth. Um, it's got a textured feel to it uh, which I'm totally fine with. I don't really care that it's not you know, as smooth as any other uh, Part that I've received because um, uh, yeah I'll take the advantages of bead blasting over the uh, fact that it's smooth plus some um, textured surface means it just reflects sunlight um, less which is always a good thing anyway thanks for watching